Hello students, in this video we are going to see that how we can find the band gap of a material using torque plot if you have uh, a data of UV visible absorption spectroscopy. So basically there are two kinds of torque plots that you can uh, draw to determine the band gap of your material. The first one is the direct band gap and the second one is the indirect band gap. So for the direct band gap you actually plot this value which is called as alpha h nu raised to power 1 by 2 on y axis and you have energy in electron volt that you plot on the x axis. For direct band gap materials you have alpha h nu raised to power 2 on y axis and you have energy plotted on the x axis and from these plots you determine or find out the value of the band gap for your material. Now the question is that how you can find out the values of these parameters the alpha h nu raised to power 1 by 2 and the energy in electron volt. So it is very simple you have to use your data of absorption spectroscopy uh, that is the wavelength and absorption data and you can transform that data into these two parameters. So let's see that how we can transform our UV visible uh, graph or UV visible spectroscopy data into uh, the torque plots for determining the band gap of material. So let's suppose you have this kind of absorption spectrum of your material where you have wavelength on the x-axis in nanometer and you have absorbance on the y-axis and you can transform it into the required data. So I have given a uh, small number of data here, not the complete data. This is the wavelength that I have plotted on x-axis and this is the absorbance which is plotted on the y-axis. The first thing is that I need to convert this wavelength which is in nanometer into this energy H or energy or H nu which will be in electron volts. And how I can do that? It is very simple. There is a relationship of energy with wavelength and you can transform the wavelength into electron volt uh, energy by using this formula here which is written on the right side. You simply divide 1240 divided by lambda and this in this way your wavelength is converted into the energy in electron volts. So here is the data of this wavelength which is converted into electron volt energy. Now the second thing is that you have to get this parameter alpha h nu raised to power 1 by 2. You can obtain this parameter by using the absorption. So this alpha is actually the absorbance value and you just need to multiply this absorbance value with the values of h nu or in electron volt and you raise, raise it to the power of 1 by 2 to get this parameter which is alpha h nu raised to power 1 by 2. So what you do you convert all these absorbance values into this alpha h nu raised to power 1 by 2 and you get this column. Similarly, now you, are, you want to find out the value of alpha h nu raised to power 2. So it's also simple by using this absorption value, multiply this absorption value with this energy h nu and raise it to the power of uh, 2 and you get the value of this alpha h nu raised to power 2. So once you have the energy in electron volt and you have these two parameters, now you can draw the direct band gap uh, plot and the indirect band gap plot. So you can also do these all calculations in the Excel very simply uh, by applying the formulas and all your wavelength and absorption data can be converted into uh, these values. Now let's see what happens if I convert this spectrum and data into uh, the direct band gap talk plot and the indirect band gap talk plot. So here, here it is alpha h nu raised to power 1 by 2 which is plotted against energy in the h in the form of electron volt. So here I get a plot like this where you can find out the band gap by drawing a very straight line here on the L x axis and this value on the x axis will actually give the value of the indirect band gap of your material. Similarly, if you want to find out the direct band gap, you need to plot alpha h nu whole square versus the energy in electron volt and you get this kind of plot for this absorption spectra and again here you want to find out the band gap you need to draw a straight line here to the x-axis at this point it is around 3.9 electron volt it will be the band gap of your material. 
so now you have drawn two kinds of band gap uh, indirect band gap and direct band gap but actually you have to find out that which kind of band gap your material has so it is very simple you simply need to see that which of these two plots is more related to your actual absorption spectrum so here we can see that this one which is the direct band gap is more related and more similar to your absorption spectrum so it means your, that your material has a direct band gap so you will use this one plot to determine the band gap of your material so this is how you will find out uh, the band gap of your material using your absorption spectroscopy data Thank you.